that I've been throwing this season. For fairway drivers, I have been absolutely loving the river. It's by Latitude 64. It's a really straight, really long control driver, fairway driver. I throw it in three different plastics. The recycled plastic feels the best in my hand. It's really grippy and durable. I like to throw this for really, really tight fairway shots. You know, I can throw it with a little hyzer and it's just gonna pop up and go really straight. So the Recycled River is really one that I'd recommend. I also throw it in the Sparkle Opto. This one's a little domier and has a little more stability to it. I like to throw this if, you know, there's some wind coming down the fairway, you know, it'll flip it up, but it won't turn it over as quickly as it would with the Recycled version. And this is also an Opto, but um, it's not Sparkle, so it's a little less stable than that one. Um, this is probably the one I throw most often. So this is definitely a disc I'd recommend. Um, also for, you know, slower speed arms, it's a disc that you can really get to go with not a lot of power behind it. So definitely check this disc out. Another fairway driver that I absolutely love is by Dynamic Discs. It is the Lucid Escape. They offer this disc in three different plastics. I like it best in Lucid because it's a little less stable. Um, I'm not someone that throws with a lot of arm speed, so these really work great for me. They have more stability than the rivers, um, so if I, need, if I need to get over on it, you know, I can trust it to get over and come back into the fairway. Um, this is probably the disc that most people have been complimenting um, us on, like as far as our new discs. This is definitely a disc to check out. Um, another disc that I love that I'm still working with is the Dynamic Disc Trespass. I love this one most in the Biofusion plastic. Like I said earlier, kind of similar to the Recycled Plastic by Latitude. It's really durable, feels great in the hand. It's um, a high speed driver and I really love this because I can get a lot of distance out of it and it doesn't have a big a big rim and that's usually an issue for me when I'm trying you know to throw far a lot of the big rim drivers don't feel as comfortable in my hand but this will get me the same outcome with a less lesser rim and it's just great it's a great alternative so I really like this disc let's see as far as some other distance drivers I love the flow by Latitude 64. I like in the Opto plastic, it's a little more domey. It feels comfortable in my hand. I can get on it and just rip it over and it's just gonna go really far and come back. This is definitely the furthest flying disc in my bag right now. I absolutely love this disc. So I definitely recommend the flow for sure. Um, as far as overstable, The Villain, also by Latitude 64. I carry it in both plastics, the Opto and the Gold Line. The Gold Line version of this disc flies a little less stable, not too much, but a little. Um, but I definitely would trust the Opto version a little more if the winds are picking up a little bit. Um, this gets me amazing distance as well. Um, it's not a disc that I can flip over, so I can trust it when I'm really getting on it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it really for beginners because it does take a little more power to get this disc to go. But for all you big arms, if you're looking for something new, I definitely recommend the Villain. So check that out. Let's see. Also for really overstable, I love the Trident in the gold plastic. Um, it actually, the rim feels the most comfortable in my hand, and I wish that more discs felt this good to me. Um, it's not a disc that I can get to go really far, but it's really good for those situations where I need to really turn, really get a disc to turn early. Um, for skip shots, I throw this a lot in the woods if I need to get around trees or navigate whatever's in my way. Definitely recommend the Trident for that. And the Blitz. This is a really pretty disc, I absolutely love it. It's the Sparkle Gold version. Um, it's by Latitude 64. 
The rim is a little interesting. It has like this indention in the rim, which feels a little different to me because I've never thrown a disc that feels like this before, but it's really overstable. Um, I've been throwing this a lot um, recently, especially with these events where the wind has been really crazy. Um, doesn't flip over, I can get great distance out of it, and it's really something that I can trust. So definitely check out the Goldline Blitz. Okay, so that's it as far as drivers go. Mid ranges, I'll start with understable to stable. For my turnover um, approach shots, gold line fuse. Um, this just gets really great glide. I can throw it really straight and it's kind of going to turn on its own. It's not something that I have to force over, which is really nice. So for those flippy turnovers, I definitely recommend the fuse. It's a really great disc for that. And then Fugitive by Dynamic Discs. This is a really straight approach disc. When it gets a little beat in, it, it, it'll tend to get flippy. Um, I throw it in the Biofusion because it feels most comfortable to me. So I'll throw it in the woods when I need to throw something straight. You know, it's not gonna hyzer out too much. It's just gonna go straight to turn over. And this is just a really cool disc to work with. It'll hold a lot of different angles and lines. So. I definitely recommend the Fugitive. So this next approach disc that I absolutely love is by Westside Discs. It's called the Warship. I really love it in the VIP plastic. Um, it's a little more overstable than their tourney plastic that they have in this disc. And this is just stable mid-range, you know, I can, it gets great glide, I can get it to go. And it's what I use most for my approach my approach discs. Um, it's really dependable. doesn't really flip over unless it's a good amount of wind, but if that was the case, then I would, you know, definitely disc up and throw the Dynamic Disc Suspect. And this is brand new, just got released. So I've actually just started throwing this to this morning. <laughs> so, um, but what I found is it's really flat. Um, it feels really great in my hands. This plastic, this lucid plastic is my favorite. I love it. Um, it's overstable, but it gets a lot of glide. So it's not a disc that you're going to flip over. It's something that you can depend on in the wind. Um, I can't wait to learn more about this disc. Um, just in the few shots that I've thrown with it, I'm already falling in love and it's, you know, instantly going into my bag right now. So definitely check out the suspect by Dynamic Discs. And for really overstable approach discs, I throw the Pain by Latitude 64 and the Optoplastic. This is a really beefy disc, and it's not a disc that goes really far. You're not going to get a ton of distance out of it, but you can really depend on this disc to turn. So I throw this disc when there's a lot of wind. This is definitely my go-to approach disc for those situations. As far as approach putters go, I definitely have been loving the Fusion Judge by Dynamic Discs. It's an overstable putter and even more so in the Fusion plastic. So this is definitely what I approach with the most. I can throw it on any angle. It feels comfortable in my hand and it has that stability that I can trust um, in an approach putter. So definitely recommend the Fusion Judge for those shots. If I want um, a straighter to flippy kind of approach putter, then I go to my gold line here by Latitude 64. Um, like I said, it's straighter. So if I'm in the woods or I need to, you know, throw a flip hyzer through trees or something like that, then this is definitely the disc that I go to for those kinds of shots. Okay. In my main putters, I've been using the limited edition material test run peers. Um, I don't think that this plastic is available anymore because these have been really difficult for me to find, but um, they're really dur durable. I've been putting with these for months, you know, and they're barely beaten. Um, they're really straight and they have um, a shorter bead that I like because it, I tend to putt with my index finger on the bead and it's like fits perfectly on there and I love it. It feels the most comfortable and they're really straight and I'm a spin putter so that's really important for me for my kind of putt. Um, I don't throw these for approaches at all. I definitely use the gold line version of this putter but for strictly putting 
these are my go-to. So definitely check these out. Um, they're available in, I think, Easy E and a softer version if that's more your style. These are harder stiffer putters, which is what I like. So definitely check these out. <music>